Breaking news, Manjaro thyroid cancer, Wegovy thyroid cancer, Zepbound thyroid cancer. My shocking find on today's edition. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. I have lost over 85 pounds, which is crazy in the last 15 months from being on Manjaro. Here's my before and after picture. My uh, blood panels are fantastic. Manjaro and Zepbound have been life-changing for me. And on today's episode, we're gonna dive in talking about a new news article. I will link my source down below. It's from Medical News Today. It was written by Katherine Long, fact check by Amanda Ward, literally yesterday, April 15th, 2024, and today's airing date is April 16th. If there's any updates on the story, I'll make sure I link it in the description link below between now and the time that this comes out, and then also in the comments. The headlines read, GLP-1 drugs for diabetes and weight loss, unlikely to affect thyroid cancer risk. This is huge news. I have not heard very many people breaking this story and I wanna be the first to help you. So make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Basically, glycogen-like pep peptide one receptors, GLP-1 agonists are an effective treatment for controlling blood glucose level with people in type two diabetes. Those are our Ozempic folks and our Manjaro folks. And then also particularly those who do not respond or stop resp uh, responding to first line treatments like metformin. There are many different versions of GLP-1 medications, including Victoza, uh, Ribal, uh, forgive me for butchering these, um, Trulicity, Ozempic, Wigovi, um, Ribalisthus, forgive me please folks, always talk to your healthcare provider, I'm clearly not one. Um, but they work in helping, it goes on talking about in the article about GLP-1 agonists. If you're watching this, you guys are probably already on a GLP-1 like Manjaro, Zepbound, Wegovy. Now, whenever I hear studies like this, you guys know here at Countess of Shopping, I am science-based. I love me some Jesus and I want science, science and cited sources, science at that to make sure we're not having misinformation. Um, it goes on in here about this study that was done. Uh, the study appeared in BMJ, and when you click on the link in the description link below from Medical News Today, it will take you to that particular study by Bjorn Pasnick, MD, PhD, the lead author and principal researcher at Department of Medicine at the uh, in Sweden, uh, of a particular institute in Sweden. So basically, it was a broad study, covered a broad group of patients, which for me, I always say, okay, how much was the study? It was a large cohort of 145,000 people. So we know from my JMU, go JMU Duke Dogs, uh, a sample study should be at least 800, 600 or 800 people. This is 145,000 people treated with GLP-1 agonists and almost 292,000 people treated in the DPP-4 inhibitors of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. We thank the Swedes, we thank our, our Netherlands friends over there, Norway and Denmark. The GLP-1 agonists were, um, it was laraglutide, which is the active ingredient in that, which is actually in the marketplace that is actually Vic Victoza. They had people who are in this, I'm gonna be swiping back and forth to make sure I give you. So the people who are in the study, 57.3% were on Victoza. Then the following was 32.9% were on semi-glutide. We know that Wegovy and Ozempic are the semi-glutide. Um, and then dulaglutide, 4.9%. A dulaglutide is actually, what name is that? Trulicity. And then it goes on to, sorry, I'm swiping back and forth on this, 4.1% um, uh, and then uh, point, less than 1%. The researchers followed these participants for 3.9 years. So for almost four years. So they followed 145,000 people for four years with the GLP-1 group and 5.4 years for the DPP-4 group. The DPP-4 group was 92, uh, uh, <clears throat> 292,000 people. I mean, this is a huge study that they did. So we can, you know, that's great information on this. Um, they identified the cases of thyroid cancer from nationwide cancer registers. The GLP-1 group, 76, only 76 people out of 145,410 people developed thyroid cancer. Just 76 out of 146,410 people developed thyroid cancer. And then that DPP-4 group, 184, and that was out of 291,667 developed the disease, the thyroid cancer. Mir Ali, MD, is a bariatric surgeon and medical director of Memorial Care Surgical Weight Loss Center in um, Fountain Valley in California, not involved in, at all in this research. He said his quote was, 
This is the meaning of a relative risk is the risk compared to someone not taking the medication. 31% is very low and indicates the risk of developing thyroid cancer due to this medication, the medication meaning GLP-1 medications, meaning GLP-1 medications, meaning Ozempic, uh, Wegovy, uh, Manjaro, and Zepbound. Manjaro and Zepbound weren't studied in the study, but they are a terazepatide that was not in the study, but semiglutide was, which is, um, which is Ozempic and Wegovy. It's saying... Um, 31% is very low and indicates the risk of developing thyroid cancer due to this medication is relatively low. You're going to want to say till the end, friends, because I've got a list for you, the top 10 products. If you are on a GLP-1 medication, you're going to want to know about. But nevertheless, the study goes on and says, caution needs to be taken to patients who fall under the category, this is where you need to heed this, of hereditary thyroid cancers, like multiple endocrine Neoplasy syndromes, he added. This is why talking to your own healthcare provider, I never give medical advice. I always punch you to your healthcare provider. Anything on this channel is simply my experience, strength, and hope of me being on Manjaro and Zetbound the last 15 months. Um, but you need to talk to your own doctor, of course, about or your healthcare provider. So reass uh, reassurance for those taking GLP-1 agonist, thyroid cancer is more common in women than men, but is relatively rare form of cancer. The incident rates are 10.1 cases per 100,000 women and 3.1 per 100,000 men. See, men are always getting the good end of the stick. I'm just teasing. Just joking. Just joking. Just wanted to make sure you're paying attention. And mortality rates from thyroid cancer are low and decreasing. Therefore, a slight increase in relative risk means the likelihood of developing cancer is still relatively low. GLP-1 agonists have other health and benefits alongside of controlling blood glucose and weight loss. Studies have shown they have cardiovascular benefits, particularly with people of obesity. We know that they have cardiovascular benefits because Wegovy was just approved by the FDA for a reduction in cardiovascular activities by 20% for strokes and for heart disease. If you have heart disease in your family, going to want to look at Wegovy as an option potentially for somebody who does have heart disease. Talk to your own healthcare provider about that. Other benefits help include reducing blood pressure, blood lipid levels. If you get dizzy, by the way, that could be a result of your blood pressure, just FYI on that. Um, reducing inflammation. Many of, I have a free group of over 10,000 people. That group is amazing people who are on GLP-1 medications. You can only join that if you're nice and fun. It's totally free, but I don't want any bumps on the log. So if you're a bump on the log, don't join. But if you're fun, it's linked in the description link below. And many group members attest that they have had a reduction in inflammation, meaning that they're... The Count made the most delicious coffee, by the way. Um, so cheers to your coffee mug. Less inflammation, meaning creaky joint. You can just tell you're less inflamed as a result of taking a GLP-1 medication and possibly even helping to treat heart failure. Now, this study in the medical news today is citing their sources with these as well with people in obesity and type 2 diabetes. The recent study found that it may also help delay the progression of chronic kidney disease, which often develops in people with type 2 diabetes. People should be aware, again, there is a common side effects with GLP agonists, but they're mostly mild, and we know those. Those are gastrointestinal is the most common one, nausea, diarrhea, and constipation. Um, irritation, um, you can, as people do sometimes get an inflammation on the injection site, like a little red bump, that's also common too. Um, this, someone was quoted in this as, I think that this study can help reassure patients in taking these medications that they're safe and the risk of thyroid cancer is very low. You know why I wanted to bring this out? Because so much in um, the media is fear, uh, scare tactics, clickbait. And I want to be a source for you here at Countess of Shopping. I have over 200 plus free videos for me, uh, f uh, from me for you for free of my journey of what's worked well for me, massive failures that I've done. Um, take, take the lesson and not my scars, so to speak, uh, as uh, Alex Hermosi says, that it, there's free stuff for you here that you can learn from if you're on a GLP-1 medication or if you're thinking about taking one. But this validates, again, of not scare tactics that the media uses. They use scare tactics of, oh, GLP-1s cause cancer. This study, and it's a huge study at that, 145,000 people who took this for years and years and years, um, showing that it's not causing these cancers. Like, that's amazing because we have had that crazy black box warning. Now, there's still warning in there if you do have that hereditary one, but there's been so much misinformation about cancer and linking it to GLP-1 medications that I'm very happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm, 
I was on four airplanes in seven days, and so I've got a little chest cold going on, so forgive me. But this study validates, again, that these medications are changing lives. I know it changed mine so much so mm, that one of my gifts to the counter shopping community is I bought for $500 a, from a dietitian a free Manjaro meal plan for you. I bought it for $500 because I wanted to own the licensing rights so I could give it away for free. <laughs> and that is also linked in the description link below. Um, as is my blog, countessofshopping.com, my free resource for you uh, for all things Manjaro and Mugovi. And I'll be doing an updated article on my site there too about this new breaking news. I mean, this study is huge. Learning about how it's unlikely to affect thyroid cancer risk. I know so many of you have been worried about that. And so as soon as I saw this information, I wanted to immediately come on and share the good news about this study. And that for me gives, oh, I have thyroid issues. And to give that little cheers um, that this study helps validate that these medications are helping me and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. Um, and as they become more and more prevalent. Now, a prevalent. A couple of things. I had said that we we're gonna do our, my top 10 list of things that have helped me. Um, number one is that free meal plan, linked in the description link below. Totally free resource for you. Number two is videos. If you, depending on how you like to learn, if you're a visual learner or an auditory learner, you can listen to those 200 free videos here on YouTube from me to you um, while you're working out. It's one of my favorite things. Work out and listen to YouTube's that so you can learn while your waist shrinks. Number three, if you haven't gotten that smart tape measure, I want to encourage you to get it. It syncs to your phone. In addition, they have a smart um, measuring scale. The two sync together. The smart tape will measure your inches. You're not a matter of if, but when you have a weight stall. It's going to happen. If you're on Manjaro or Wegovi, ZepBound, that weight loss, it, there's going to be a weight stall. Using that smart tape measure has been a game changer for me. And subsequently with that, the matching scale, it has on there where it will all sync to your phone. And this has 13 types of measurement, including muscle mass, which we know, not just for GLP-1 medications. It makes a good sound bite when they say GLP-1 medications cause mu muscle mass loss. Well, duh, any sort of weight loss does. So don't buy into those media scare tactics, my loves. That's product number four, product number five, and I'm linking these down below. Some free, some paid for. My absolute favorite for loose skin, I bought 40 of them to test them. And nothing's gonna get rid of loose skin besides loose skin surgery. Stay tuned on that. Eventually I will be having that once I hit goal weight. This is my favorite. I'm obsessed. It's pricey, but it works. And it helped me last year be able to get into a bathing suit with way more confidence. And this year for the pool, I'm very excited. I have way more loose skin. Um, and I have that, I'm also, um, well, I'm more on that later. Tip number six that has been a game changer. When I started my journey, I used magnesium. I bought it off Amazon. I buy everything off Amazon except for my supplements. I do not buy my magnesium on Amazon. I buy it direct from the vendor. I'll link it down below. They've been very gracious to give the Countess of Shopping community. I asked for a big discount and they've given one. That's linked down below. It has seven types of magnesium to help if you have constipation. Um, for, I'll use for me, I'll use my I statements for me. Constipation, sleep issues, and anxiety. Major, and muscle recovery, number four. Very, very helpful. That was number, was that number four, number five? Number six is element electrolytes. I have used these my entire journey. I bought them 15 months ago when I first started on my Manjaro weight loss. It has made a big difference for me and for many people. Highly recommend. If it's too salty, use more water. If it's not salty enough, use more or not flavorful enough. There's no added sugar, no dyes. It's not blue. Um, it has in there magnesium, potassium, sodium. I like these at 10 calories per stick. They're amazing. I don't have more than two in a day and two in a day if I'm sweaty batty and I'm sweating excessively, usually just one. Some days none, but for sure on day zero, one and two. Uh, product number six, I have switched. If you've seen old videos, I've switched over recently, not recently, for several um, months. I have been taking a daily multivitamin. This is my favorite. They've given us also a discount code. They're bite-sized shoes. They're amazing. Um, free Pilates was number, what was that number? I'm losing track of my counting. I feel like the count from Sesame Street, one, two, three. Um, the free wall Pilates to help for muscle building. I have was big into lifting. I'm finding things that I love for my physical activity because Eli Lilly tells us we have to 
make lifestyle changes with physical activity and with our eating habits. And so for me, physical activity, doing things I really love, which is walking Mr. Freddy, my dog, he'll be in upcoming videos, by the way. I know so many of you miss him now in my new studio. We're trying to train him to come in the studio, but he's afraid of the lights. There's a whole audio system, lighting system, so he won't come in. So don't worry, he's going to be coming in upcoming videos, but finding physical activity you love. I love wall Pilates and it's free here on YouTube. I just type in wall Pilates for beginners and I do the seniors one and I get a great workout. Like I'm sore, like the seniors are stronger than I am. So <laughs> it's an awesome, it's very, very cool. I'm like, yeah, I love it. It's a really, really cool resource. Tip number nine, um, what am I missing? I'm missing one. We have nine and 10. Water system, which we've already talked about previously in other videos. For me, because of the appetite suppression, I'm grabbing for food, but I don't need to grab for food. It's not hunger. It was grabbing for something because of habit, and I call it the three H's, habit, head, hunger. Is it habit, head, hunger, or is it real physical hunger? Having a water system for me has really helped cut that down and been huge. And then the final one for me has been my protein shakes. I use BioCare. They've been very generous to give us a discount. I'll link it down below. They are protein shakes made specifically for people on semi-glutides and parasepatides, and people on Manjaro, Wegovy, Ozempic, things like that. They come in chocolate and mixed fruit. Um, they do help with muscle mass because of the protein and with possible side effects as well. Um, if you have not joined my free group, we've been talking about it now for the last few days, I am doing a Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Challenge. You're going to want to click like and subscribe to see that coming up in the next few days. Um, and I have a ton of recipes for my protein ice cream. Highly recommend BioCare. It's been awesome. And I've been using that in my protein ice cream too. If you do want a Ninja ice cream maker, it's down on my Manjaro Amazon shopping list. Again, I buy everything off Amazon except for my supplements. So I buy directly from the vendors, from my magnesium, from the vendor, my element from the vendor, <laughs> my gem daily vitamins from the vendor, my bio care from the vendor, and then everything else I get on. Um, on um, Oh, and if you guys have seen me talk about Array for constipation and bloating, I get those directly from their website. Everything else I get on Amazon, for the most part, or other resources too. So, sweet friends, that was a fun breaking news story. I love getting the positive energy. Now, we do a couple things here at Countess of Shopping. If you've made it this far in the video, we do it with um, an action item. I want to know and help hold you accountable. What are you doing today to move you closer to your goal? type it in. If you're working out, many of you are working out, come back and tell me later. <laughs> and then number two, we do an emoji. It tells me that you've made it this far in the video. It probably means you like my content, which means I want to get to know you better. There's hundreds of thousands of you. There's one of me, but I do truly care. And so through flash, it's like flashing up the bat signal, flashing up an emoji. It shows me uh, that you've made it this far in the video. Today's emoji is going to be light, light whatever you deem that to be for an emoji. And some people aren't near emojis. You can just type in light. Um, twofold, one, I will pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I will uplift you in positive thoughts. And two, it will help me to get to know you better. Pattern recognition of your name popping up over and over. I'll get to know you better. And I do truly care, sincerely. This is the whole reason why, like, this is my job job. My job job is a video marketing strategist. Uh, I do this because I love our community. It makes me so happy. And hopefully, the whole intention behind this is to be a source of light and encouragement and education. Again, I am not a healthcare provider. Always talk to your own healthcare provider. If you do need one, down in the description link below, which is the dot, 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 more button, is all of my free resources and other resources I've discussed in today's video, in addition to the article that I've linked. Um, I do have a discount code through Join Fridays, the telehealth company I work for, for name brand prescriptions, if you're eligible, and compounds as well. They do, they do both. And we're one of the only telehealth companies that do both. But use that discount code QUEEN, Q-U-E-E-N. Sweet friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shop and count my blessings because life is delicious. Click on that like and subscribe button and share this video with your bestie too. You know there's some besties out there that have thyroid issues or maybe they've been concerned about it. Share this video. Sharing is caring. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.